Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and today in my series of DIY and painting and decorating we're going to be touching on the subject of paint stains. Now this is caused usually by dampness that has come through the paint and has left a mark. It could be from rain or a burst water pipe or it just could be something that's actually underneath you just want to cover. So let's have a quick look at what I got to sort out. First is that mark there, I don't know if you can see it very well. It's this one here. And also this one here. You can probably see that quite well. Now that problem is easy to sort. There is numbers of products on the market. And this is one product I actually come across not so long ago. This is the one, it's Bin. It's by that name, Z, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And apparently this is probably one of the best on the market, allegedly. I've not tried it, but this is, we'll give it a test and see what I think. Also, when you're using this product, you do need methylated spirits for cleaning brushes, and obviously you need a brush to put it on with or a roller. Now, what's good about this product, it dries in around about 45 minutes. So you can almost get straight back to giving it a repaint, which is excellent job. And in one hour, you can just repaint straight over and it's supposed to be the business. And what you will need to do to start with before anything, you can stir it or just give it a good shake. Now we've given it a good shake, we'll get it open and we'll get them touched up and see how we get on. Now this product does have a bit of a whiff, so if you're using a lot of it, I suggest opening the window. So let's get on with it. I wouldn't normally do it like this, by the way, putting the tin here and carrying the paint over to the job. But because I'm making a video, it's a bit of a pain having to lift that up. And you can just imagine I end up putting that tin all over the floor. And that's just enough for this little stain. So there is the stain. There I say, I think I'm going to give it a bit more, just in case I've missed something. Just flick it out over the sides so it makes it even. And there we go. You can see this stain more so. So we'll leave that 45 minutes and with a bit of luck, it covers. Now where we left off, we were painting the stains. Now I have actually done a recoat of those stains now. This is actually day two. So I couldn't be asked to do it yesterday. So I thought, well, I'm going to finish it off today because I'm actually going to repaint the whole lot today. So let's have a quick look at what I finished off with. So this one's been repainted. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? And there's the other one. So all we have to do now is just do a straightforward coat of ordinary emulsion over the top. And I'm going to be using, yep, Vice bar. Got me roller ready. Now this ceiling does need two coats of paint. I've missed out the wishy-washy one because I don't see any point because it's already had like three coats of white anyway. So all we're going to be doing is we're going to go straight over with a single coat and then I'll let it dry and then go back over it with the finished coat. And let's have a look at the ceiling at the moment. So it's pretty fine. You can see the lines, whereas I actually, I've just got a sand this bit up here. But apart from that, and that's your stains. You can see it glowing. Right, so we'll move straight on and I'll roll those patches. And then I'm gonna do the whole complete ceiling and then that'll be finished for the finishing touch. So 
So looking at that, it's not gonna coat that well at the moment, but it needs to dry. So you can see the patch up there, but that's okay. When that's dry and it's had its second coat, it should be fine. Well, the next time you see me, we'll have a quick look at the ceiling and that'll be the first coat finished and dry. So at least you've got some idea of what the coverage you like. And then obviously, hopefully I'll have already finished the final coat and when the, we can view it at the final coat just to see how good this product is. Well, that's the first coat done and it's looking quite good. We'll have a quick look at that. Yeah, it's almost gone. It's drying out nicely. You can barely see it. And this is the other one. Now this is taking a little bit longer to dry, but it is drying quite well. I think it's because obviously this is a water-based product and this is basically, it's got methylated spirits in, so it's, it's doing its own thing. But I did expect this to be a little bit different to the one in the kitchen. And this ceiling's been done some time now, this one in here. This is the utility room. Uh, it's never been finished, so you can see I've, in the utility room, I've still only got the wash coat on the walls. But that's where I had a little bit of water damage coming through one of the tiles. With the second coat, I'm sure it'll be spot on. At the very end of the video, the little bit of footage I'm gonna be putting on will be the finished job with two coats and you can then see what it's like. Because at the moment, this is just the first coat and the second coat's not gonna go on, maybe tomorrow. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And don't forget to check out the playlists because that's probably very important as well. Because down there, you've got the full-blown series of DIY and also the series of the painting and decorating I'm doing. And also I've done tools and all sorts of other playlists down there. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters. This is just an update on the stains. You can see by two coats of the stain paint, it's completely almost removed everything. I will say I did two coats of paint on the one part and I did an extra third coat to go on top of the stain primer and it worked a treat. It may be because the paint wasn't thick enough really. And sometimes when you're using a roller, it doesn't cover as well as a paintbrush.